No rice, no bread, no vegetables, just meat, meat. and fruit. fruit. How would my body respond to this drastic change? And could this actually be the optimal way to eat for maximizing health and performance? Well, I dive in and try this unique animal-based diet. The results might surprise you, but you gotta focus. So the last meal I had before this was yesterday. It was white rice, cod, avocado, a green salad with olive oil. I thought it was healthy, it felt healthy, I felt good today. I actually just got done with a workout, it felt really good, I felt energized. However, according to most carnivore advocates, the meal I had last night wasn't healthy. Bringing us here today, in true carnivore fashion, standing here before my food without my shirt, I have just made about two-thirds a pound of a grass-fed ribeye steak fried in two tablespoons of butter. No seasoning. I have two of these ripe mangoes diced up, and then in the leftover fat, I guess, I fried a banana. I think that's allowed, right? Let's give the banana a try first. Mmm, that's pretty good. Okay, moment of truth on the steak here. Hopefully I did a good job, cross my fingers. Oh, I think that's pretty good right there. Bottoms up. My main curiosity with a fruit and meat based diet would be its effect on my body composition and performance. Could that high density carbohydrate punch from starches really be replaced with fruits? And would it actually be in a manner that would be more hydrating, higher in vital minerals, and less toxic to the body? Well, I end up trying a few variations of this meat and fruit diet throughout this experiment to try to see what's most optimal for me. That banana, so good. Steak, really good. The mango, super ripe, super good. Honestly, good experience so far, but it's only the first meal. Based on my research, this initial style of fruit and meat diet seems to have been popularized by various internet personalities over the past couple of years. Inspired by the remaining various hunter and gatherer tribes, it has been speculated that the best way to mimic this lifestyle in today's day and age is consuming the meat and organs of ruminant animals along with ripe fruit as well as raw dairy and honey. Now the meat and organs from these hooved herbivorous grazing animals such as grass-fed beef is thought to be more in its natural state than other animals such as chicken even though I will have chicken later in this experiment. But to start, I really hit the red meat hard. Grass-fed beef patties, I got these as fatty as I could, so they're 8317, that's as fatty as I can get them. Grilled them up on the grill, grilled some pineapple. I also tried grilling a banana. That still has the outer part on, so I'm gonna peel that off and then eat the inside. And then on top of the grass-fed beef, I have some raw Parmesan cheese, so Parmesan Reggiano, the real stuff here. I'm gonna have about two ounces of that. I'm probably gonna eat four of these patties, half the pineapple, that banana, and I'm gonna share a patty or two with my wife and some of the grilled pineapple with my wife as well. Let's see how this goes. As you can see, this food is very wholesome. But aside from that, this nutritional approach varied quite differently from my normal diet. First of all, which should be obvious, the ratio of fat to carbs, even with the fruits, was significantly higher with this style of eating. Also, these plates of food contain way less volume than I'm used to. But surprisingly, due to the high amount of fat, which is high on the satiety index, I actually felt very satisfied at the end of this meal. I just didn't have that distending gut fullness feeling that I'm used to. Usually I associate satisfaction with also fullness in the stomach and that's just something I need to get used to. Being satisfied without feeling that like distension. Maybe that's a good thing though, okay? So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'll be able to sleep really good. I'll see you all tomorrow. So I actually ended up sleeping very good the first night. No acid reflux-like symptoms. I felt like my sleep was deep and I didn't get up too many times throughout the night. I started the day with some fruit and then I pretty much got to eating the exact same thing as I did on day one. So what are some other supporting arguments for this style of eating? Why fruit, but not vegetables, grains, beans, or other plant foods? Well, advocates of this lifestyle claim that fruits want to be eaten, that is why they are sweet. And things like vegetables or leafy greens do not want to be eaten, which is why they are bitter. But also, looking at the science, these plant foods other than most fruits seem to be higher in what advocates of this lifestyle would consider anti-nutrients or plant defense chemicals. The claim is that these defense chemicals are actually harmful to the human body and should be minimized by avoiding bitter greens, grains, beans, legumes, and roots. Ripe fruits, on the other hand, are plant foods that contain the least amount of these compounds. And they're also hydrating and contain various vitamins like vitamin C, 
and then meats and organ meats are super nutrient dense, contain a lot of protein, minerals, and fat soluble vitamins. So the idea is to get the most bioavailable nutrient rich foods without the supposed toxins. Now the debate on this goes deep, I mean real deep, with tons of conflicting arguments, studies, etc. And rather than me taking a side, I thought I would just try this one out for myself and report to you my opinion on how I feel. So after the second day of eating this meat and fruit based diet, how was my performance? I was gonna do plyometrics today that's like jumping and stuff, but like I just I just didn't feel it. I just didn't feel it. So I decided to do just a voluminous uh, pushing workout. So like chest and triceps and just kind of freestyled it honestly. I gotta say though, my body weight feels lighter. Like I was able to just crank out the dips, but I'm not feeling like super amped up. In the middle, we're feeling pretty good. How do I look? Am I you look so much more ripped than I've seen you look in like since last summer, honestly. <laughs> It's only day three, we have four more days of this. Yeah, anyways, going on a light walk and then headed to the store to stock up on more food. So although my body weight was feeling lighter, I was feeling a bit more sluggish. Curious as to why I was feeling this way, after tracking and logging my macros, I had a pretty good idea of possibly why and a potential easy solution. Regarding energy levels over these past couple of days, I do have to say I feel like my performance has not been as good as it could be. And I think it's because I went from eating so many carbs upwards to 400 grams a day down to under 200 grams of carbs for these last couple of days. And I really think that may not be enough for me to perform optimally, at least at this point in time. So today what I am doing is I am upping the fruit. I started with three bananas right here. And I do have to say, I actually do feel quite energized at the moment in time. How much fruit am I gonna need to get to feel good? And will that amount cause maybe too much bloating? Is this a good idea, bad idea? I don't know, this is an experience. After those three ripe bananas and then three dried dates on the way to the gym, I felt rejuvenated and my workout was so much more powerful, energetic, and explosive than the previous day. I ended up doing my full routine of plyometrics and then even feeling like I had energy left over. Could this be the secret or was there a dilemma lurking around the corner? That combination of smells is so weird. Oh. Yeah, I'm like downwind of you right now. All right, energy is definitely up. Got that workout I wanted to do yesterday done. Did it with pretty darn good intensity. I'd give that about an eight, nine out of 10. Went to the store, then we actually played some pickleball. I didn't even film that. It's still in play, what that's the that? way I see it. But yeah, that, and then I also had some spillover energy that I'm just using for a trampoline session right now just to have a little bit of fun, and I still feel like I have a solid amount of energy. Only thing is I am feeling a wee bit more bloated. I don't know if you can see anything, but yeah, things could change at any moment. I'm just gonna jump a little bit longer and then take a shower have my next meal. So the adjustment was simple. I felt like I needed more carbs, so double the fruit, double the carbs. However, because fruit comes in a package with fiber and water, I was a bit concerned that this might cause too much bloating, especially when mixed with meat. So in an effort to make some of the fruit more digestible, I thought I would continue frying it up. Now fried bananas were good, but fried strawberries, not so much. Whoa. And after taking down all of this meat and double the fruit, I was, yes, a little more bloated. A little bit more full than, uh, than the previous days where we ate less fruit. Hopefully that'll digest well, and hopefully that means better energy. Bloated more at first, it seemed to digest well overnight and left me in the morning feeling like I had a lot more energy than when I ate half the amount of carbohydrates. All the bloating's gone. I feel like I, I have energy, more energy than I have been having the last couple of days. So I'm just gonna continue this, upping the fruit. We're gonna play with this, we're gonna play with this. I think we're on the right path, okay? So just more fruit and just meat. It's working, hopefully, hopefully it stays working. Feeling very optimistic on day five, almost as if I cracked a code. My energy felt consistent and very good. My strategy going forward would be manipulating the amount of fruit to fill my carbohydrate needs for any given day. Now this could be argued as me just getting more calories giving me more energy. So in order to avoid that, I decided to substitute some fat for more of this fruit and keep my total calories throughout this entire experiment around 3,000. 
thousand. Fruit and meat. Now on day five, doing various activities, helping family members with their yard work, moving furniture, etc. I felt like I required way more carbohydrates, so I upped the fruit significantly. And how would so much fruit affect me the next day? My mouth feels really dry and my face feels kind of like it's re like retaining water. Like I ate a ton of carbs yesterday. Almost like I kind of had like a cheat day yesterday. My weight is also up a little bit, a little bit different than I have previous mornings on this experiment. Later in the day after further digestion, trying to get a workout in, my body weight felt heavy and I felt once again sluggish. It's like I had one good day where I was perfectly in balance and everything was going as planned, but then I overdid it and ended up suffering the consequences. I feel the heaviness with these body weight workouts, but I guess that's good, more resistance, right? So my strategy going forward would be to back off the high fibrous fruit carbohydrates a little bit and use more denser carbohydrate packed fruits like dates, as well as utilize raw wholesome cheese sparingly which does have a moderate amount of carbohydrates and with this simple adjustment i felt like my bloating was down and i was feeling a lot more energized by the next day but this is the first day for some reason that i've just been really really craving white rice and i'm also kind of craving olive oil and arugula too, secondary to the white rice. This is literally the first day I've actually had these cravings. To be honest, to be real, this past several days, I have been pretty dang satisfied with eating um, just the meat and the fruit, and it hasn't been an issue. Maybe I'm anticipating tomorrow having the freedom to eat what I want or something. White rice, olive oil, arugula, I'm craving those things right now. Yeah, so. That's where we're at. Knowing that this experiment was about to be over, I powered through the final day, sticking to pure meat and fruit. And now there are probably a few more questions you have that I want to try to answer. How did the cost of this current eating style compare to my previous eating style? Well, it was way more expensive. But that was probably due to the grass-fed steaks. I could have had it more comparable if I would have chosen mostly the ground meats and just stuck to the cheaper fruits like the bananas. Also, how were my bowel movements throughout this experiment? Well, to my surprise, they were exactly the same in terms of frequency. I did notice on day three, however, that my stool appeared more glossy, but other than that, nothing new. And then why did I include dairy? I used to think dairy caused me a problem, but after experimenting with these raw cheeses such as Parmesan and raw cheddar, I noticed it felt good and dairy also added calcium and some other beneficial properties. I considered it in the meat category and it really felt like it rounded these meals out. Now how did this diet end up affecting my overall aesthetics? And what were my final thoughts? Well ladies and gentlemen, it turned out to be way different than I assumed from the beginning of this experiment. And with that being said, it is time for the results. Are you guys gonna take me serious with the backwards hat? Anyways, what's up Home Slice? So after one week of eating only meat, and fruit and a little bit of dairy. What does my body composition look like now? Well, let's take a look. Whoa! So at first glance, it actually doesn't look like there's much of a difference, but when I look in closer, especially at the waistline, my waist seems tighter in the afters, which is actually surprising to me because of all of that bloating I complained about in the middle of this experiment. However, I do have to say towards the end of this experiment and today, I feel like I have dialed the macros in to where I felt like the bloating is not really there at all. So does that mean that this diet actually digests really well in my body and works really well for me? Maybe. Now regarding overall health and longevity as it relates to this style of eating, I thought the answer was going to be relatively simple, but after diving into the research and various conflicting arguments, etc, etc, the rabbit holes are so many and they're so deep that at this moment I can't form a solid opinion, especially based on my experience which has only been one week. So none of this is health advice, none of this is nutritional advice, it's all just my experience and how I felt this week and what I'm planning to do for myself going forward. So what am I going to do going forward? I am going to continue this style of eating with modifications. So yes, I am actually going to continue this style of eating because I noticed for myself throughout this past week, when I dialed it in, I had exceptional energy. I felt like I had great performance and mental clarity and I wanna take advantage of that. 
Now for modifications, I want to add back in white rice, sweet potato, some vegetables, and just see how I feel, react, and then make adjustments there on out. So it's not like I'm planning to be super strict. What I'm actually saying is I'm switching my previous base that was rice, meat, and some vegetables to now fruit, meat, and some vegetables. And then a little bit of rice, a little bit of potato, or whatever I want in there. But the base is different. At least that's where I'm at right now. My opinion might change later based on how I feel after messing around. I'm thinking going forward, I might want to experiment with more of a primal style diet, you know, that includes these potatoes and vegetables and other things like that and see how that goes. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea? Have you ever experimented with anything like this and how did it go for you? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching this. Hope you all have a great day. Stay tuned, more videos coming out. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.